What's up, guys? I'm in the freaking slowest traffic in the world. And I'm not gonna lie, I was on my phone just like Facebooking and stuff. And then, um, because again, as you can tell, nothing's moving. This isn't safe, I don't recommend it, but whatever. Um, came across my girl Nicole, who actually went to high school with me. Um, she saw a video I put up yesterday, day before, that was to, um, one of my Twitter followers, right? And she had asked me, um, about fat loss plateaus, whatever. And we addressed diet and I, I made a comment somewhere in there that I usually eat at home like nine out of 10 meals, but that I do eat out. And, um, Nicole had asked like when I do eat out what I pick. Um, and now um, whatever I want, uh, within reason, you know? So how I personally deal with eating out I want to go over, I guess, when I was in prep first and then kind of what I do now. So when I was in prep, it was obviously a lot harder to hit macros because, uh, you know, calorie intake was much lower. So I really, and consistency is super important, right? So I really only had four, like, go out meals in prep. Two fast food and two, like, restaurants and other than that, I really didn't eat out. Um... Wendy's and McDonald's. That was about it. I ate, uh, and I still eat these things sometimes, but Wendy's, a full-size apple chicken pecan salad. That was a little bit fattier. Um, when that, okay, well, there's that one. And then McDonald's has a Southwest grilled chicken salad that I would get. Um, the Wendy salad, because it has, oh, oh. Here I am talking about safety and I'm dropping shit. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, the Wendy salad um, had more of all three macros, more protein, a little bit more carbohydrate because it had fruit in it, apples, right? And um, a little bit more fat because it had feta cheese. The Southwest chicken salad, actually they, had, they were similar in carbohydrate because it had little tortilla crispies on it, um, but it was smaller piece of chicken so it was less protein and less fat because it didn't have any or not that feta cheese on it right the other the two like uh sit down meals that i would get fuddruckers um if you don't have a fuddruckers around you i apologize because that shit is legit uh because i would get elk burgers and i was only on refeed days because of the bun it was just pretty high carb for a normal day then i would like be hungry the rest of the day if i tried to do that um so the elk burger is a lot lower fat than beef and I would get that in a side salad. Um, and then I would add on my side salad like extra tomatoes, onions, things like that. So during prep, I stuck to only four things. I kept, I counted the same macros, but you gotta keep in mind too that like they're not always identical right because the chef's not back there with his food scale actually the elk burgers because they're probably pre-made patties as they're shipped and they probably are actually accurate measurements but as far as like the salads go none of those salads do they you know I'm sure it's a pretty small variability like between 5 and 10 grams difference but you still got to be careful with that stuff in prep um so yeah Wendy's McDonald's Fuds and IHOP Oh man, I love IHOP. Um, so I'm a real big Breck feaster, like literally like feast, feast. Um, and I get a giant omelet. Um, they have egg substitute or egg whites. Personally, I prefer egg substitute. Um, hold on, we're going for a turn, time out. Okay. I prefer egg substitute because, because it has a little bit more flavor in my opinion. I then add like spinach, mushrooms. They have at IHOP what's called Denver mix, which is like peppers and onions. I'm in a parking lot. I'm, I'm safe now. Um, and I would also get, um, in prep, the meal would be create my own omelet. And it would have those four things, spinach, mushrooms, and peppers. Sorry, spinach mushroom, peppers and onions, and raw tomatoes. You have the option of getting roasted tomatoes, but that adds fat. I looked it all up. 
uh, because I don't know what they roasted in, right? So, sorry, hands getting tired. And then I would also, in addition to creating my own omelet, get a simple and fit two by two by two, which is two pancakes, two turkey bacon, and two egg, egg whites or egg beaters. Um, so I would get my omelet, add in more eggs, add in turkey bacon, and two of the pancakes. And I think one of those things comes with fruit, but I never ate it. Unless it was like a refeed day, because as we know, uh, fruits are a little bit higher, you know, carbohydrate, sugar, than the vegetables are. So that's it for prep. Wendy's, McDonald's, Fuds, and IHOP. Now when I go out to eat, uh, there's a lot more to play with, but I'm, I'm still... I mean, I still hit my macros, obviously. There's also, because I eat out more in it, more unfamiliar places, there's more variability, right? But, um, some general trends, I guess, that seem to happen. Obviously, I try to get between, like, 30 and 60 grams of protein, which is most main dishes um, that have a protein. So, a chicken, a... It's almost always chicken. Chicken or seafood. Sometimes shrimp, sometimes... I try to stay away from beef only because, as we know, beef has a little bit more fat, but usually if you're at a restaurant, if there's any, like, sauces, if anything's cooked and stuff, generally there's more fat content than you would make at home. Like, even if you get a side of vegetables, they probably put some kind of delicious, like, buttery goodness on them that adds fat calories. So that's the only reason why. Um, and... I definitely get a protein. I tried. I almost always get a veggie of some sort. If the if the dish is like a protein and a starch, or a protein, not starch. Yeah, if it's like if it's like a burger, or if it's like a protein with potatoes, or a protein with like rice, protein with beans. If there's anything that's like non-veggie sides, I tend to because I know that's going to be more calorically dense. So usually a smaller meal volume-wise. I tend to do a side salad to start with. So like literally 75% of the time I eat out, I start with a side salad, no dressing, and then get a protein dish with whatever side, depending on the place. Um, and I always say no, I usually say no dressing because I almost always look, check this out. Like, oh, it's pretty rare that I don't have these on me. Walden Farms packets. Like, I keep my... They it, they come in packs of six. I get them at Sprouts. And I probably go through a pack of six, like, every... Depends on the week. Usually, it takes me, like, a month. Um, Sometimes, like, last week, we had Melissa... My coach's uh, girlfriend's birthday. Not that I took dressing there, but still. I ate it, like, three times last week, which is pretty rare. But usually, like, once a week, Thursday nights, our whole staff at the gymnastics place I work at has dinner. So, there's one of the packets, you know. So, it lasts me a long time. If I'm ever out of dressings, I always ask for a vinaigrette or a balsamic. Or, a, like, non-fat dressings, whatever. But because I'm not in prep, I have quite a bit to play with. So, that's my general eating patterns out. Um, a lot of those, a lot of the chain restaurants have macros on their websites or in my fitness pal already. If they don't, because I've been weighing my food for so long, I'm pretty damn good at estimating, and I always throw in just a little bit extra fat, um, you know, because who knows what they cook stuff in. Um, you know, during prep, if there was ever that rare occasion, I'm like, don't cook it in this, be careful with this, like, if it has any of this, ask the chef, blah, blah, like I was a pain in the ass. But now it's like I kind of overestimate, and even then, if I'm 5 or 10 grams above or out of my range or whatever, it's not a huge deal. Last week, I went to a dinner, and they threw in, like, I ordered this dish that I didn't realize had a cream sauce on it. And it was, like, dinner, dinner, like, my last meal of the day, so I ended up, like, 8 grams of fat over. But because I'm in, not in prep, like, it's okay. It's not a huge disaster. I'm getting, I'm getting used to this. But that, in a nutshell, I guess, is, is how I eat out, um... How I plan for it, I guess this is the last thing I'll touch on. Um, if it's like lunch, breakfast, whatever, it's really easy, right? Because then once it's done, you know what you have to play with the rest of the day if you're going to be at home or whatever. But like Thursday nights, for example, I always we always go out to dinner, like I just said. 
So what I do, because sometimes I'll look at the menu ahead of time. Um, if it's, but a lot of these, like we try to go like downtown Sacramento, like try to get to new places that don't, maybe don't have a menu posted or they're not like a chain. So it's not there. So what I tend to do for me is like right now, the maximum amount, the high end, I'm in ranges, right? The high end of my macronutrient ranges are 60 grams of fat, 200 carb and 140 protein. I try to stay a little bit below those in well, protein I try to about hit, carb and fat I'm trying to hit a little bit on the lower end of those. But like on Thursday nights I know we're going out to eat, right? So what I'll do is I'll as I eat my meals up until we go to work, I try to just know that I go go to work with like 20 or 30 grams of fat like a lot comparatively to normal days. Um, I try to reserve quite a bit of fat, so 20 to 30 grams, um, anywhere from 50 to 100 carbs, and anywhere from like 40 to 60 grams of protein. And I try to leave that for dinner so that wherever we go, I can probably find something that'll fill me up within those ranges. Um, and that's, that's it. Yeah, so, because I'm not in season, it's not a huge, huge, huge deal, but I kind of just mentally plan ahead by reserving a good chunk and luckily also Thursdays are cardio days so before I lift I really like to get a good 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 big breakfast so that's where most of my carbs go during the day but on Thursdays and like days when I want to just get up and go do cardio and I don't want to feel heavy while I'm like trying to do sprints or trying to jump around I eat a smaller breakfast so that works out because Thursday night I try to reserve more carbs for dinner out I really am done talking about how I eat out though, but thanks for the question. That was actually a really good one and I didn't think I'd talk so much on it. But I hope that helps some people with um, with figuring out how to stay on track while still having a social life and not missing things because of your goals. Alright, talk to you soon guys. Thanks.